and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir control to continue on our rotation proof Monday. That's right, on Mondays here, what we're doing in Tell Rotation, which is in about six weeks, I am making different decks that will be surviving rotation um, and trying them out. Because I know there's a lot of people that want to play with cards that are not going to be rotating out. They don't want to build the current standard decks uh, that do have cards that rotate out, even though even though these decks may not be the best um, in the format. You know, because we're only using half of the card pool, it's still all cards that you don't have to worry about leaving standard in about six weeks. So, you know, we may not get the most wins with these decks. We had we went 2-2 with element with Teamer Elementals, um, but that deck felt pretty good. And this one here looks pretty exciting as well. Uh, one thing that's going to hurt us, though, with rotation-proof decks, of course, is the mana base. We're not using the rare lands that are rotating out. So, he's, as you see here, we have four Dismal Backwaters. And which, you know, with a card name of Dismal, you're not going to be excited about it. And then we have Demir Guildgate as well. So that's that's one thing that just kind of hurts us at different points is our mana base. But oh, well, anyway, this deck looks pretty sweet. Like this is uh, kind of based around a like you'll like I've been seeing some of this uh, Demir control list. that's very similar to this in the queues uh, recently. Uh, it's gotten kind of popular as a deck to try to fight vampires and scapeshift with having four legions end in the main and having all the unmoored egos in the sideboard and everything. Um, and uh, we can basically make the deck without any cards that rotate out. As you see here, like everything's pretty good. We're missing like Vras's Contempt. Like Vras's Contempt's a big one that, that we're missing here with this deck. But that's that's really the, the biggest card. Um, we got Command Ugin as like some additional threats in the sideboard. We got these Drawn from Dreams that are a really good card draw spell. Uh, you know, a whole bunch of Enter the God Eternals to help us against aggro. Kefnet, you know, as if you were watching uh, Grixis Control that I played yesterday, I was kind of down, down talking Kefnet of how I hadn't been really liking it in the deck that much, and I replaced him with Hostage Takers. Well, one Hostage Taker is rotating out, so we're not... Uh, uh, gonna be playing that. Oh yeah, I should I should uh, I should uh, mention that. So yes, Riverium. So the cards that are rotating out are Ixalan, Rivals, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Corset 2019. So all of those cards will not be legal when Throne of Eldraine is released. And if you're wondering when is rotation, that's that's when is the as whenever Throne of Eldraine is on Arena, that's whenever rotation will happen on Arena. I'm expecting that to be about September 23rd, 24th or so. Anyway, back to this card. Uh, Kefnet in this deck, though, we have a lot more spells than I had in the Grixis Control deck. As you see here, besides the Kefnets, the Lilianas, and the Narsets, and obviously the lands, but besides those, everything else are spells. And so we have just lots and lots of spells, so we're going to be hitting cards to be copying with Kefnet quite a bit. I guess negates don't really count, though, because you can't don't really copy negate. Um... Without having Contempt, though, other Planeswalkers are going to be a little bit of a problem. That's that's something that I that I think will be... That th That's something that I am worried about. Other Planeswalkers. Uh, maybe I should be playing more Elder Spells. Um, we don't really have great Planeswalker removal, like main deck one, that also it gets a lot of other things, like how Contempt does. So I think that's going to be... like if I, If something just to... Something that I'm worried about just immediately. That would be the thing that I'm worried about right now. Um, yeah, I have I have an Ugin in the sideboard also. So yeah, Ugin Elder Spell. Those will come in and help us out uh, in games two and three. Uh, we got Dispersals though. That's that's something that can can maybe do some work. Dispersal. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we got Demir Control, Rotation Proof. Demir Control. So we're gonna try. It. We're gonna play through a league here, the traditional constructed league. See how many wins we can get, and you know we may not get tons of wins with these decks as we've talked about. How we're hindering our card choices, but that's all good. So yeah, my favorite color combination is Selesnia. It's unfortunate that Selesnia is probably the absolute worst color combination in standard because it is my favorite, but unfortunately it's the worst one.
The first deck we're going to play against is Jeskai's Super Friends. That's a bull call for the first deck we're going to play against. This is a cool looking deck, though. Let's get our Demir Kitty. Hawkeye Demir. Meow. Demir Hawkeye. So as you can tell here, our dismal backwater are already kind of hurting us because we don't get to we wouldn't be able to play the Narset the next turn. Alright, so Kaiser at the Spark. I'll let him have those. Veto or Liliana. I mean, I guess I take the Veto, but that Liliana, like this card, if you know they play it, it's gonna be really hard to deal with. I'm actually just gonna take the Liliana, honestly. We don't deal with Planeswalkers very well. Sure, the Veto is just going to trade with something one for one. That'll happen, and that's fine. But this could be worth a whole lot more than one card. I know we there's there's a thought of well, it's a six mana card. Maybe we'll ha we'll find some other. Um, we'll find some other discard by the time they could play it, but they also play like Teferi. That uh, rather, you know, like that maybe if we do get discard later, that maybe they also draw Teferi that we can take. All right, but not looking good for us. We have three dead cards in hand. So not looking good at all. Thought Distortion is not a bad sideboard card for, I mean, for just a hard control mirror. It, it's amazing uh, for that kind of mirror. But that's it's a pretty narrow because you know it's kind of only for that type of matchup. Um, definitely want negate. Do I want discovery or a land drop? I guess land drop. I mean, it, well, it's really dispersal because discovery doesn't do anything with Narset in play. It's really dispersal, but let's take the land drop. Meditate and prepare. But yeah, so thought th thought distortion would be absolutely amazing here. Um, so I could see it being a one of in the sideboard. They don't really have any dead cards. Like, their removal, all this removal is, like, live. I have a lot of dead cards. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Hawkeye, he's, like, um... Before action. I think, like, 11, maybe 12. He's pretty old. Yeah, just talking about you. You heard your name, didn't you? Hey, what's up, Blind? Thanks for staying on that five-month streak. Welcome back. All 
our seventh sub of the day. Thanks, Blaine. I have just the trick for this. Okay, so we want Morning Gate, more Duress, Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell, Command the Dread Horde, Unmoored Ego and Ashiok. I'm not so sure about those cards. I don't know if I want Unmoored Ego or Ashiok. But let's see what we don't want. We don't want this Soot, these Cries, Cruelty, Legion's End, Disfigure. All right, so we got three other cards to take out. So just enter the God Eternals. Maybe it's just that. So I guess... So basically, cutting down to no removal. Which we didn't really see any reason to have removal. We have this. Let's do it. Yeah, it wasn't... It. You had the super friends, right? Yep, it wasn't, wasn't just guys super friends. Yeah, as you can tell, like our, our game one plan, we are trying to beat Vampires. The number one deck in the format right now. Yeah, as you can tell, with all those, lead, you know, four legions and three cry of the carnarium, you know, like, we are trying to be, vamp like, that's, our deck is built to be vampires game one. And so, we're just going game number two. Mm. I don't, like, love Kefnet in this matchup anyway. Kefnet's really weak to Teferi, both of them. I don't think I'm going to mulligan them. Could, I could certainly see them having, you know, a lot of, like, Dovin's Veto kind of cards. Where maybe Kefnet does good. Yeah. Nope, they just have a bunch of Teferis. Yeah, Black White Vampires. It's the number one deck in or Orzhov Vampires also. Orzhov means black white. It's the number one deck in standard currently. Maybe these game life lands will help us out with our command the dread horde. Oh, that hurts. For the other craft net, that hurts. They kept that card on top pretty quickly, which means it's probably something that's good against Command the Dread Horde, which is bad for me. Well, I like both these cards. I, I like the Duress in particular to take Teferi. The problem with Narset, it's not much of a problem. We'll just keep it. I say the problem with Narset is we're not actually going to have six mana for next turn if, for keeping Narset, but that's not much of a problem. So we could find another discard spell like a Thought Erasure or something. Stop scrying everything to the top. Opponents. The focus and own your prowess. And yeah, Liliana would be nice. Alright, hoping that's a land. 
here. We only saw one land in the, the Narset minus, and that wasn't a land there. So there's only one out of the last five cards were land. So, hopefully we get a land. Here, we got rid of their Elder Spell. Make, you know, good thing for Command the Dreadhorde. I won't forget our time together. Darn. I won't hide from the world any longer. Only time will tell. Let's skip to the good part. So they have two cards that could be counter spells, which is bad for us. Play a land. Uh, they didn't even play a land. I'm going to go land negate. Oh, yeah. Hawkeye hasn't worn a collar in a long time, but yeah, he's fine with them. There, I need to move the mic out of the way. See, he's back there. He's laying on his blanket. <clears throat> Definite land. Man, that has not been doing very good, the song thing, has it? So that song was Shadow Play by the Killers. So I, I think their last card's a counter spell, honestly. Which is why I didn't want to play command first. I do think it's a counter spell. Mind and Keep an open mind. But you know, obviously I'm gonna be playing command now because the You don't want to just sit here and wait because of discard. But you know, Ugin's an Another good card to play anyway. Yeah, the land deck that makes zombies and scape shift is like the other top deck with vampires. It's those those two, but vampires is a little bit above. Escape shift. All right, so did I wait a turn too long on Command the Dread Horde? Possibly, but if that if that card was a counter spell, like I was thinking, I was I was definitely playing it the next turn anyway. But we still got Ugin. Hmm. Three cards of all lands, though. That's a little rough. Meditate and prepare. Yeah, both vampires and scape shift are losing tons at rotation. The top two decks are.
Wow. It's just all lands now. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I must train harder. So it doesn't look so great for us if they find an answer for Ugin. We are just relying on Ugin now. Yeah, dispersal could be useful. Darn. The one with the backup Narset. I have just the trick for this. You just I suppose Listen. that's how it is. We will I will lost my the worst part about playing Ashiok is those voice lines. Secrets manifest before you. Well, if they have Command the Dread Horde, all those things are gone now. No, their own Ugin. Recklessness and fear are the Ethan itself serves me. Hmm. Darn, that was a good block. Have a third on Mordigo. My dreams dissipate. But we just our Ashiok minuses haven't been too good for us. We got rid of a whole bunch of lands. Like that was three lands in an unmoored ego. I'd like them to draw three lands in an unmoored ego. You know, like that's that didn't really help us there. Yeah, our opponent had a 50-50 shot of hitting a land or not with that. Yeah, they might as well just keep whatever it is on top if they're not killing Ashiok. Putting it in the graveyard only just lets me get another card. So yeah, it is, it is a complete waste of Thought Erasure. Wow, that's just... That's good. I love that they put that Narset over there. That was really good. <laughs> lies beyond vision. My one last thread in my deck. The Kefnet. Well, Liliana's gone, but still three more lands. Stop milling over lands. We want to mill over spells. We, st we still have less cards in our library than they do, even though we Ashiok them three times. Wow. All right. Good job, Ugin. My deck, I think I have, we have 25 lands in here. <laughs> so, yeah, we have, we have 25, and that was a lot of them. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any more threats to go grab. I guess I have Enter the God Eternals, which can be a threat, and can mill them. Maybe Enter the God Eternals is good here. We have to have a creature out. We saw them play a creature, though. What would I want to take out of my deck... For Enter the God Eternals. But I want to take out on Mordigos. 
<laughs> Does Ashiok turn into Ashy not okay when sick? <laughs> Morty Go is pretty lame. Like, the, the thing, like, I would just be naming, like, Teferi and just, like, lame stuff. Let's play Enter the God Eternals instead, actually. Let's do that. Make a 4 4 mil for 4. I haven't really considered it Kill Switcher. I think I I do enough talking. The question is about like making a podcast. I do, I kind of do enough talking with the streaming for seven hours every day. So I'm probably not going to be doing a a podcast. I don't really know too much more to say. I don't really have too much more to say than what I do on stream, I suppose. How much better would Unmoored Ego be if it had Surveil 1? Not, I mean, it would be marginally better. Not like a ton. I don't think it would, I don't think it would see much more, if any more, play than what it does. You know, it sees a good amount of play right now because it has a really good target with Escape Shift, but... Looks like my opponent had a three mana card that they're really debating whether or not to play into the negate. Looks like they get to play it now. Ooh. No land. No land. Kefnet is really bad against Teferi. So if they have Teferi here, I'm going to be sad. Please just don't have Teferi. Because I don't even get to negate Teferi. Just let me untap and have negate available. All right, good. I get to untap with negate. Hooray. And future, hone your prowess. We want to be hitting discard spells off of Kefnet. That would be the best thing possible. And we can unmoor to Ego our own... Or not unmoor to Ego, sorry. The card we replace with unmoor to Ego, Enter the God Eternals. We can enter the God Eternals, our own Kefnet, to mill him for four and make a make a new four four. Not normally. I only my only two choices for this slot was either enter the God Eternals or Unmoored Ego, and neither of them are particularly good. I'm going. I'm going with uh, enter the God Eternals because that does allow us to, you know, it does it mills them for four, which is good. And it gives us another threat. Ooh. Well, definitely Thought Erasure and I guess the land. I need the land. A veto. So 
So the, the thing is, I want that land, but a land is not a good reveal off of Kefnet. Thought Erasure is a much better reveal, though. That's a great reveal from Kefnet. Good job, Kefnet. Way to be, way to be. Yeah, Sultai Lands is a Field of the Dead deck. It's a rotation with no cards that rotate out. Don't know how well it will work, to be honest. May not work that well. And possible Boros Feather doesn't work that well either. Without one of their most important cards. Why do they have Noxious Grasp? I just realized that. They have Noxious Grasp? That doesn't kill anything. All right, I do have to be worried about this Liliana, but I want to get another 4-4 in here. You know, they have to go land-land, back-to-back. We did just mill over three lands, which is nice. Are they expecting me to command the Dreadhorde there to Fairy, and then they want to Noxious Grasp it? Yeah, I'd have lethal. Yep. Yeah, I'd lethal if they didn't if they didn't do anything. And it looks like they didn't do anything. I'm gonna target my zombie army. I bet some of you thought I was gonna kill my zombie army. Alright, Demir Control winning the control mirror. You thought I killed the army? Because uh, it does four damage and amasses four. It's like part of like the same card. I don't know. They're both kind of happening at the same time. So it amasses to be an 8-8 with four damage on it. So yeah. It's not checked till after the card resolves. And then it sees that it has four damage. But then it sees it's, there was an 8-8. Remember, kids, damage doesn't kill things. State-based actions do. All right, we need Demir Kitty. Feather. No more of those. Infuriate. This looks like this is all rotation proof stuff here. Infuriate's pretty cool. I thought about putting Infuriate in my deck. I actually put it in there and then and then cut it. But I put it in there at first. And then I went with, uh, instead of Infuriate, uh, went with now, Sam at Sprint. Meditate and prepare. 
I would like a, those lands, please. Shocking. Just wait a moment. Turn of events right there. Pass turn. Pass turn. Draw land. Wow, I can tell the future. So I think I want to go Thought Erasure Negate and like have a Negate for Gideon. Take this feather. No, Reckless Rage, boo, not rotation proof. Hmm. If I play stuff, I won't be able to get rid of Gideon. Probably shouldn't play stuff then. <laughs> we we plucked feather. The, the feather has been plucked. Hmm. You know, Kefnet is just gonna get prison realmed. Before action. Hmm. I know that end of the God Eternals is just so enticing, but yeah, it's definitely soot, hundred percent. I shall miss your company. See you, Narset. Zombie God. Hey, we have a resub for 22 months. Thanks so much there, King J. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Can you Dauntless Bodyguard Gideon in creature form and give him Indestructible to protect him from in Planeswalker form? Well... I'm not exactly sure how how that would work, what you're saying, but when it's your turn, Gideon's an indestructible creature. So when Gideon's in creature form, Gideon is indestructible all the time in your turn. When it's not your turn, Gideon is not a creature and is not indestructible, so you can't really Dauntless Bodyguard at that point because it's not a creature. I don't know if that answers your question or not. This is the, this is the third feather. Of course the last card's God's willing.
I'm gonna be sacrificing this, like just getting rid of this feather with Lil with Liliana. It doesn't really matter if I have the Kefnet die or not. There to the obvious combat trick. The undead make great minions. Let's reduce the battle to shambles. So really don't want them to have the haste creature here. Just hope that that's not haste creature. Good. Not haste creature. Three feathers down at least. Oh, that's true. That I didn't draw off Liliana because of that way. That is true. I forgot about I forgot about that part of Liliana. That's that's a thing. That I forgot about. So two Arcanists, three Feathers, and a Gideon have been taken care of so far. I was a little surprised they didn't cast the God's Willing with these none of these cards really mattering. Whenever I... Especially since none of these scry or anything, if they didn't know the card on top, Rise just and shine. do pro black and protect, but you know, maybe they didn't think that I had a removal spell there. So they do have red cards. I suppose either Gust can do stuff against, I suppose. Ugin's good against God's Willing. It's a lot of stuff. I don't want these Enter the God Eternals. Uh, Cry of the Carnarium isn't very reliable, but it's good against War Boss. Like, specifically War Boss. That's kind of a boot it. We got Ritual of Soots and stuff, too. Hey, 619. No, I, I wasn't testing earlier today, no. Um, What's my other four cards that I cut? What do y'all think? Do I get rid of Discovery? I mean, Dispersal seems like it could also be good, though. Do I not play Aethergust? Do I trim back on Kefnet? I'd probably trim back. I'd probably trim a Kefnet. Maybe a Drawn from Dreams. These cards are kind of slow, slower than Discovery in this matchup. Is Ego super good? What, you like Ego, what, like God's Willing or something? Ego Feather. Bleh. I don't know. I don't know if we need to do that. I kind of feel like God's Willing would be 
Like that could maybe be a better target there. Any more of those? Darn. Cranko and Gideon. Well, if they go Gideon, I'll grasp it. If they go Cranko, I'll cry it. Got them both covered. Why would they play the shock land they just drew that I don't know about over the clifftop retreat that I did know about? And also not pay two life. Is one question. Second question, wouldn't it make sense to play Gideon first and then you'd have your creature plus God's willing second? Another day, villain. Another day. This game is shaped up very well for us. There are so many. I have just the trick for this. Gosh, Liliana is like so perfect. I mean, it's it'd be really nice to thought Razor this turn, but Liliana is just too perfect for this matchup. So good against God's willing. Your prowess. All right, I guess I don't need another game breaking six mana planeswalker when I'm chilling at five lands. Draw from Dreams is just too good. All right, that's a good card. It's a good card. They don't get to draw another card because of Narset. Um, I don't really know what the point of playing that right there was, but... just discarding your cards for oh wait there's a swamp yeah they've just given up Fine, I'll leave. Yeah, got me there. Those who cannot perceive keep an open mind. <laughs> Fine. All right, well, Demir, this Demir control deck looks pretty sweet. Our rotation-proof Monday decks today, so far, I mean, these are the two stronger ones, I think. I think I did lead off with the two stronger ones, but both of these have looked pretty good. Four rotation-proof decks here. But to be fair, I think I think our feather matchup is a good one. With having the main deck Liliana's. That card is so good against Feather. But then, of course, all the Legion's ends are awesome. We saw both of those games. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Tickles could be in this deck. Doesn't rotate. 
Yeah, if you want if you want five mana mythic creatures, yeah, Cavalier of Gales and Doom Whisper are both pretty good options there. Um Yeah, Ritual of Soot was great against Feather for sure. Yeah, all all star. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can put the link of the, the deck here. If our opponent's not green or white, we're not looking good. Mulliganing's great. We're just going to mulligan. Mulliganing is great. Because we're we're playing a rotation proof deck today, so all of our card, none of our cards are rotating, so we don't have like Drown Catacomb because Drown Catacomb's rotating, so that's why we have a Demir Gilgate and some Dismal Backwaters, and some cards like that. Yeah, so far so good for for our Demir Control deck. Nixilus was so cruel to that Ripjaw Raptor. Dinosaur. Certainly has to be enraged at how, cru in at how cruel Omnixilus was there. Why have I been revealing my lands? Because it's fun. The can. Alright, well, Galta. I guess so. Sorry. Sorry, 4 4. Galta could just be a huge problem. Honestly, don't. Let's see. So if I attack here, we'll put them down to 8. I have to kill them in three turns. I'm probably dead before that in three turns, though. Like, my opponent... So they would have two attacks to do 19 to me. It's like, let's say they play, like, another Regisaur Alpha. Or... Ugh. Cool. Had it right the whole time. All right, Ether Gust, Noxious Grasp. Well, wow, that is <laughs> that is some tilt. Take twenty seconds to think. That's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. I think I was actually going to lean towards attacking there. I had to think about it, but I think I was going, going to go ahead and attack cause, and kind of hope that they couldn't kill me over two attacks with whatever draw step I had. Dismal Backwater. What a funny name. Yeah, I'm easy like that. That was a gift right there. Yeah, my, my OP thinking strat. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, well. I guess our Kefnet's going to be deputized. We'll take the circuitous route here. Darn, wasn't circuitous route. So Kefnet will get deputized. I'll just put Kefnet back into the library. Next turn, we'll play the Backwater and Discovery and get our Kefnet back or, or better. All right, so now we definitely know we don't need land. There was the circuitous route. Ooh. Man, that would have been nice to have it. Kefnet in play first. This isn't bad, though. Maybe we just do this instead of Kefnet? I do like milling them over for four, you know, try to hit. Field of the Deads and stuff. Sure, let's do this. Wow, that was good. Escape Shift Antiferi gone. Good, good. Legion's in. Darn. Please, more Krasis. Yeah. Got another Krasis. So I do four to them, they get to do five to me. I guess the longer the game goes, I probably lose. So even though this isn't a great trade, I should be attacking. No, I'm not. That's that's the thing. Is like these decks are for, for, like, like yes, Drown Catacomb would be an upgrade for the deck. So if somebody wants to, like, if somebody wanted to play this deck and craft Drown Catacomb, they can. But, um, this honestly could just be a waste. It's like if they have a Scape Shift, also, I, I may have just killed myself. But it, like the whole point of the series here on Monday is to play car like to just play cards that are not rotating out because there's a lot of people that don't want to invest rare 
rare wild cards. You know, they have like a finite number of wild cards. And they don't want to use the wild cards on the rare lands. Do I just get both Cry of the Carnariums? I mean, another end to the God Eternals is pretty nice. Try to mill over another four cards. Try to get, you know, try to get more Field of the Deads, but... But I guess against this deck, you can't have too many Cry of the Carnariums. And spells like that. Yeah, double dig through time. Pretty nice. Mm, I was going to attack with the 4 4, but I know they have like the Field of Ruin, they can get them more. Yeah, we did get three sweepers with that one draw step, so yeah, that's not bad. Wasn't a bad turn. No, they only have two Field of the Deads in play right now. Yeah, they got two. But also just milling, enter the God Eternal is milling over lands. You know, the more lands you mill over, the less they can have. Stop! Oh my gosh, ugh. Got really punished for using that Legion's end now. Um, so that'll cost one. Hydra Crisis card is messed up. That was a lot of card equity to deal with that. If I would have drawn a land, I would have been able to cry away the other two and then just... Uh, Liliana Sorry, and make them sacrifice. That would have been better. Would have drawn the land, but we didn't. Here goes nothing. All right, this is looking like we lose now. Crisis. I am the master here. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. So I should have, instead of taking the land with the legions and for the second drawn from dreams, I should have taken like a discard spell or something, I guess, and, and not actually cast legions end that turn. Um, and then I would have had the legions end for the crisis. We didn't. We didn't need to cast legions end that turn. That was, that was me being impatient. At least we're not taking lethal this turn. I 
I can't cast anything from Kafnet with Teferi in play, of course. Waste not, want not. Teferi wasn't in play. We could have cried the Carnarium there. That would have been nice. Yeah, we played. Yeah, I'm playing two different Risen Reef decks today: the Soul Tide deck and the Elementals. We already played Elementals, as you can see the record up on the top left-hand part, but have not played the Soul Tide deck yet, which is also a Risen Reef deck. Like a fun new toy. Okay, well, I need to think about my turns more. I, think I should have discoveried first. If I play, if I play new Kefnet, if they have circuitous route, get two land drops. Circuitous route doesn't really even work. It's basically just scape shift. They don't really have. Actually, they're probably out of basics and gates and stuff, though. Actually, actually, yeah, they're out of basics and gates, so it's really just scape shift, and I can't beat scape shift anyway, so. Might as well hold this. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to dispersal. So I should have just done this first. Yuck. I guess I do draw a card for playing new Kefnet also. I'm expecting them to have another Teferi in hand. I think, aren't they, aren't you out? Yeah, you're out of basics and gates. Yeah, they did have route. Double checked. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ugh, I still have a lot of Alright, yeah, maybe we'll be able to ultimate Liliana. I mean I guess I guess we won't because of Blast Zone. Yeah, Blast Zone won't will let us there. <laughs> oh yeah, wrong wrong Liliana ultimate. We don't need to separate piles. Everything that's Liliana the Veil. This would just destroy all of their lands except for one, and so it would essentially end the game if we would ultimate this, but Blast Zone won't let us. I will rise again. Ugh. 
I think they have seven lands left. Four. Well, let's say let's say they're playing twenty-eight lands. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that's eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So if they're playing twenty-eight. They got seven left. That's good. That stops Narset. Or sorry. <laughs> that meditate and prepare. That stops. Um, Crisis. Oh, you're welcome, Vincenzo. Vincenzo, you're welcome. So six lands left. Maybe it was seven. So yeah, it looks like they're out of lands. So they, they're going all in here. It's like my opponent knew I had that Cry of the Carnarium in hand somehow. I guess I should have revealed this. Yeah, I should have revealed that. And cast it again. It gets me one deeper. Put thoughtfulness before action. Ooh, good thing I didn't. That has to get us there, right? So that sees like basically our whole library at that point. All right, we got game one. We just they played all of their lands, and we had enough Cry of the Carnariums and Legions ends to get rid of all of their zombie tokens. <laughs> hey, Godfrey, thanks. <laughs> Ah, uh, goth folk, I love you too. Y'all are so nice. Okay, so we have Duress. Negate. Noxious Grasp. Ritual of Soot. Ashiok. Unmoored Ego. I kind of have too many cards, TBH. Like, maybe I'm not supposed to play all these Negates. Like, hmm. We're not playing Disfigure. We're not playing Cruelty. We're trimming a Kefnet. We're getting rid of the Enter the God Eternals, I guess, because I do need to get rid of cards. Um, maybe the same with Liliana. No, we need you need all the discard. Maybe we don't need all the negates though. Rentrum won the Liana. I'll take out the discoveries, I guess. Yeah, another thousand viewer day here, three in a row. Welcome everybody. So we do here on Mondays we play Rotation Proof Decks. That's what we got here. Rotation Proof Monday. 
So we're playing some dismal backwaters <laughs> instead of drowned catacombs. We, yeah, we beat Esper earlier, like hard, Esper hard control Esper, not Esper hero. That that match felt pretty pretty bad for us game one, but it felt felt like we were favored games two and three. But if it's bad for game one, I don't I don't know if we'd actually be favored for the match. Um, I think I get rid of a rejuvenator. Yeah, we're in a fine spot for having to gape. I would prefer them to play Teferi over Rejuvenator. But now they go Rejuvenator. Bleh. Don't understand the thought behind rotation proof decks because the whole meta will change. Yeah, the the reason why we're doing the rotation proof decks is because um, there's a lot of people that want to invest in decks in arena right now, but don't want to invest in cards that are going to be rotating out. And so they want to play decks, but and and understand that the decks aren't perfect or may not be like the absolute best things you can be doing, but they want to play decks that don't have cards that will rotate out. And so that's that's what we're doing here on Mondays. Oh, you're welcome, Orion. Stop. Two shifting ceratopses? The Vale of Summer. Assuming they play Ceratops here, we can grasp with Ceratops, still have Negate for later. Right on schedule. Alright, so my first thought erasure, I should have taken Teferi instead of Rejuvenator. That was a mistake I made there. Ceratops is a Big part of their sideboard plan. I should probably be playing this Omnixus's Cruelty. Didn't really feel like I wanted to negate too much. So what if we take out three negates, put in a couple discoveries... Just because they have Veil doesn't mean I'm going to cut Negate, because Veil is really good against everything in my deck. My whole deck is blue and black, so I mean, I can't just like, oh, they have they have Veil, cut Thought Erasure. You know, like, you can't just cut everything in your deck because of Veil of Summer. 
I want to play these kind of things. I want to play you. Well, yeah, if we if we have the ability to clear their board all the time, we are better off doing that instead of countering, but that's not always a realistic option. Like we only have so many board clears. As we saw that game, that game two there, we didn't draw a single uh, sweeper, so it's not like we're just going to be flushed with sweepers indefinitely. And yeah, whenever they have, if they play little Teferi and then tick up and get to scape shift on my end step, that's a time where, you know, if we can kill the little Teferi with like a noxious grasp that we'd like to have a negate for the scape shift on my end step because the sweeper wouldn't do then. So they just have one Field of the Dead. Okay, I thought they had two Field of the Deads, and I was really sad, but they just have one. Okay. So I, I do want a, another land, because I want to play Ashiok here and then play Kefnet next turn. That would be ideal. But the Dismal Backwater there doesn't help us do that. We want to exile Field of the Deads. Field of the Dead? Huh. I guess I'll take that though. Three Ceratops and a Krasis. That's not bad. I guess I'll take that. All right, one Field of the Dead gone and two Teferis. This has been a nightmare. Hmm. Hey, Choco, doing good. So I guess I should have played that first. I am probably going to duress away the Circuitous Route, because this Ashiok's not going to be on the battlefield forever. So they are going to be able to Circuitous Route later. No, that was the card that I was going to unboard Ego. Hmm. Could just play the the Kefnet. We've already dealt with there's three Teferi's gone. It's just that. Okay. So Ashok will be able to activate one more time. We'll activate it the next turn. Ooh, chill, Ashiok. They're going to be able to circuit us throughout this next turn. So 
So let's let's see how what we exile first before we decide if we want to ego. Maybe if we just want to Kefnet. All right, just got rid of some other lands. So two Krasis are gone. And one Field of the Dead to go with this Field of the Dead. And go with Kefnet. We'll see if we can find some sweepers. You know, like we're gonna need to find Legion's Ends and Cry the Carnariums. It's unfortunate that they, you know, they've drawn a Field of the Dead that we don't just get to take them all. That would be the most convenient thing. All right, can we get? Can we find a sweeper? Not a sweeper. We have a bunch of deputy at attention still. We got two of those, three of those. So one little Teferi, two Krasis, three deputy at attention. I mean, this is just if we draw a sweeper, we can win. If we if we don't, we're gonna we're gonna be losing here. Like there's too much power out here. We have the field of the ruin, field of ruin too, though. I don't I don't think we're winning this. That won't do it. Bleh. I've still never won when playing an Ashiok. I've never won a game when I've played an Ashiok against Escape Shift. I've never won a game with that card. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it did it did work, I suppose. We had, we just had no sweepers there, games two or three. Zero sweepers. There's nine sweepers in the deck. And we have the four Narsets to help find them, the Drawn from Dreams to help find them. We didn't see any of those cards. I mean, I had a bunch of Unmoored Egos, though, so I can't really complain too much. But whenever they draw a Field of the Dead, you know, they had one in their opener. You can't Unmoored, unmoored Ego that away. Yeah, that one's probably not Ashiok's fault. I mean, Ashiok did get rid of all the Shifting Ceratopses. I'm just saying that I, I've never won a game where I've had Ashiok against Scape Shift. I've still never won one. I'm like 0 for 4 or 5 in games of like drawing that card against Scape Shift. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did cut some discoveries, and so that could certainly be where I was going wrong. Like that, I shouldn't be cutting discovery at all because we didn't have the card draw.
Is it possible to... Uh, so Carnage gets rid of two cards and de does three damage. Which is fine. We have cards in excess. So yeah, after winning that game one, that was definitely a really disappointing match to lose. With all of the stuff that we have there, I'm still losing. Definitely discarding one Narset to like a Carnage here. I'm not sure what I want my other discard to be. If I, it's either the other Narset or the Drawn from Dreams. It's the two Narsets. If you want the playlist for the, just like the for if you want my Spotify playlist where everything's at, it's right there. Hey, Kitty Dexterity is gifting out two subs to the channel. Congratulations, Dizzy and Gabriel. Everybody, get their hype votes for. Our new subscribers. All right, Legion's End or Cry? Cry. All right, that gets us to a sub goal. I guess Legion's End and Cry were both the same card. Okay, that's a surprising concession there, considering we still had five, like we were only at five. And they definitely have that direct damage and everything there. Really surprising con concessions. Yeah, we've seen heroic reinforcements, carnit, carnival carnage. No, the blue lane line would not be worth it at all. No, blue lane line is not very good. So I think I want to take out the two negates. I guess Noxious Grasp was probably okay. It does say gain a life. Not really reptile. Um, I did like teaching a lot. I did like it a lot. Uh, I think you know it's, but it's not. I don't really miss it. I mean, there is, there are aspects of teaching that I miss. But, I am happy with my life and career choices that I've made. Double blue, double blue, double blue. Triple blue. Yeah, only three more sub goals to the next 12 hour stream. We'll probably be doing that this weekend.
was reasonable. I'll mark that down here. I'll update the info panel there. You should be flattered. I'm so oh, they're so cute. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. I have just the trick for this. Well, normally I'd want the Enter the God Eternals. But, of course, that Rakish... Rakish? Rakish instigator? Over there? Yeah, as a math teacher. Interesting technique. So I'm hoping the Kefna can uh, kill the Tybalt. Well then. Okay. All right, we are four and one with our rotation proof Demir control deck. Really close to a 5-0, a disappoint super disappointing loss, but we still have one life left. We are facing our final boss. Will we only have this little amount of gold or will we get all of that amounts of gold? The difference between 1,700 and 2,100. So for our final boss, we need to get in the zone with our final boss playlist. Boo, you can just let me know the, the song and I'll play it. Yeah, it's like barely any, yeah, it's like not very much gold, more, more gold at all, but yeah, it looks like, um, it looks like tons and tons of more gold. All right, here we go. Cool, I got your boot. Played after after our final boss here. The most enjoyable deck in standard pre-rotation. Hmm. I would say Probably the mono black control that I made that I've played a few times. That's my favorite deck. We're talking about like meta decks. Does Grixis control count? Maybe that. What's going on over here? Is this Jeskai control? Yeah, the plan still is 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 Grixis this weekend, but I'm starting to waver. Stand by and watch. I'm gonna take some time tomorrow. I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking some time and oh, really going through stuff. Thing. I I may be playing a a blue green Nissa deck, maybe. You know, like a maybe like Teamer or Bant. I've got it. Choice. Down, down. Not looking good for us. 
<laughs> Not looking too good at all. So I only have 25 lands in this deck. So it's not, I'm not playing a, you know, a lot of control decks who will play 26. We're only playing the 25. So we've seen nine of those 25 already. So I'm liking our chance of finding spells. Don't worry, I got The problem is, is our spells are really good at killing creatures, not planeswalkers so much. I am not going Whenever we were talking about the deck at the beginning of no, I am not the video, I you know, when we were going over the deck, I said that um, a, a hole in our deck is... Uh, is Planeswalkers. You know, we don't have Rass's Contempt in here because we're playing Rotation Proof deck. So, like, instead of Rass's Contempt, I'm playing Omnixilis' Cruelty, where Rass's Contempt would be a better card to be playing right now. And the, the loss of not having Rass's Contempt really means that we don't have Planeswalker removal. So, this is going to be a tough matchup. So, it's a good final boss for us. This is going to be really tough. Yeah, I have one Elder Spell. <laughs> so that's not not much. I have one in the sideboard. So you don't see just a ton of all Planeswalker decks right now. It's not something you see very much of. But we got paired against one here. Yep, so I'm saying there's a chance. We got we have one elder spell on the sideboard. That's more like it. <clears throat> yeah, the the black card for one mana that removes five counters off of anything. That is pretty efficient planeswalker removal. It doesn't kill Nissa and Tamio after those cards tick up. Still have much to learn. But overall, it's a pretty efficient spell. They do have a Sarkin, so we're dead kind of whenever they want want to kill us. No sword can pierce my skin. I summon you. And I guess they want to kill us. Are you certain of your decision? Your opponent's petting their cat. We'll, we'll pet our cat too. That go My army has been destroyed. I'll protect you. Keep an open mind. Hmm. I still have seven cards in hand. I mean, Drawn from Dreams is better than Thought Erasure here. Or, well, just in general. Um, when we have four mana, we can only cast one. But I kind of want to cast Thought Erasure. Because of seven cards in hand. No, we're going to take this. Well. I was not considering Spell Pierce whatsoever. That was a blowout. Impossible. That was a blowout. Didn't spell pierce didn't cross my mind. Here we go. Yield 
yields to art, not oppression. Wah, wah, wah. Awaken. <laughs> yeah. Could have seen that coming if I would have taken the Thought Rager. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Trust me, I have a plan. So they have they have another Sarkin over here they could get to grab with Karn. Meditate and prepare. Mm. Not sure if I should have the other. I was supposed to take the other Narset for more card advantage, but I guess this discovery will help us out. We don't get to like reveal it and cast it because of Teferi Time Raveler, of course. Some lessons for you all. That was a that was a really good voice line for exactly what it is. It's like, well, we're we're basically dead whenever they want to grab the Sarkin, and Karn's like, the time has come, and here comes Sarkin and to kill us. That's a pretty clutch voice line there. <laughs> I've got time. They didn't kill us though. We have a shot. I guess. Oh, I blocked the wrong one. It doesn't matter. I'm Ritual of Sitting. <clears throat> we can kill Sarkin now. So that's nice. Hmm. No, they have baffling end. And <clears throat> Omnixil's cruelty does get rid of Sarkin, but You know, could get rid of one of those, but of course they have Teferi. We can't play instance on their turn. No, I am not making this up as I go. Why not discover with Kefnet? Because because of this card right here. That would be great to cast. I thought they were going to Cleansing Nova, but I guess they're doing it this way.
Hmm. These three cards are the ones I'm debating between. I think I think it's I think I uh, I think I'm taking Kefnet. I guess Noxious Grasp. Maybe it could be Liliana Noxious Grasp though. You think I should go Liliana land and just play Liliana right now? Only time will tell. I'm getting that thing out of there. I think it's Noxious Grass. I wasn't sure if I wanted Kefnet or Liliana, though. And I think I think Liliana's the better threat. Well chosen. Hey, Project. Good evening. Ugh. That card makes Liliana so much worse. I train every day. No one has met with thoughtfulness before action. Uh. I'd say that was a pretty good turn for them. I need some kindling, and you look flammable enough. Let's get toasty. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm trying here. I have I have one card that kills planeswalkers in my main deck, which was that noxious grasp, <laughs> and it doesn't even really kill planeswalkers. I was trying. Oh, that card's great. I wonder if I want to keep some sweepers in because all the little crappy tokens they make. Like, do we want to go this? Or do I want... Basically, do I want Unmoored Egos or Enter the Guide Eternals? I mean, Ether Gust. No, I don't want Ether Gust. I don't want any of these cards. So do I want... Do I want one of these? Um... Instead of cry and sit, you know, like, do I want some combination of these? The thing is, like, the token with Enter the God Eternals gets, like, bounced by Teferi. I'm kind of off that. Yeah, they have, like, Chandra, Sarkin, and Sahili that Ether Gust does anything against. It's not very many cards. I'll play two egos over two of the cries. This is a soundtrack from uh, Super Smash Brothers. I mean, well, that's it's it's in Super Smash Brothers, but it's it's a Legend of Zelda theme uh, 
Yeah, Liliana's not really helping too much. That could be a card to trim on. They could also have, like, War Boss. The War Boss is going to be pretty common. Maybe that will kill me since I got rid of that set. Yeah, it's from Legend of Zelda 2. The temple theme there. Uh, no, not really, Elijah. My prowess, I have just the trick for this. No, we played Wizard Tribal last night, but I haven't seen I won't forget our very time. much, if any, of it. Well, I can't really beat Chandra, so we'll take that card. Hmm. I want them to binding Kefnet, because I can put Kefnet back in the library. I don't really want them to binding Narset. Let's see. I'm just going to pass. Hopefully they're just playing like one Chandra. And not more than that. That thing's really annoying. It certainly feels like Dovin's veto for how they've been playing. In hand. I think they have a Dovin's veto in hand. I'll bait out the veto with the Narset. Alright, well, that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. That didn't work out at all. Uh, have I said that didn't work out yet? Because it really didn't. Kefnet is so bad against a fairy. Might be a bad idea. So bad. Yeah, I didn't minus Narset because I knew about the Kefnet on top that I wanted to draw. Well. 
Because they didn't have the stomach to continue to fight. They had a bunch of cleansing novas. It doesn't seem like they have war boss. I don't think I want to get rid of Cry and Ritual of Set, though. So we, we definitely know they have Sahili and everything. So yeah, I'm going to keep those still. Ixalan's Binding is a huge problem. I guess I have Ugin, I suppose. Kefnet is potential card advantage, but not just automatic card advantage. But potentially you can reveal stuff and cast it, but they, they have a little Teferi out, you don't get to cast the stuff. They're, if you just keep playing it and they keep bouncing it and tucking it with like the two Teferis, you're not getting any card advantage. So it's so Kefnet isn't just automatically card advantage like a card like Drawn from Dreams is automatically card advantage when you play it. Well, we, yeah, dispersal, dispersal for the binding that last turn wasn't wasn't useful. Considering they had they had one of the two bindings didn't didn't have anything under it, so just dispersaling that that's just a waste of a card. So Karn's the thing that that's gonna, you know, provide a whole lot of advantage that I can't do anything about. Uh, Narset, you know, gets him two cards, but Karn gets him a lot more than two. Wow, some people just don't have the stomach for the fight. Yeah, I was gonna take Narset, Narset, and uh, Elder Spell there. All right, where's our victory fanfare? Our rotation proof deck went five and one. I think that's our first five win rotation proof deck so far. I think that's our first one. Let's update that over here. So yeah, this felt like a really solid deck. Liked it quite a bit. Uh, our one loss, too, was like one that I thought that we were going to be really heavily favored. You know, we lost to Scape Shift after we won game one. And then we have like all these other cards that we brought in against them, but we didn't see any sweepers at all games two and three. You know, between our four Legion Den, three Cry of the Carnarium, and two Ritual of Sit, we, did, we drew zero of those cards games two and three. I think we learned not to cut Discovery in that matchup, though, because we just, I guess we need that the more. Uh, velocity through the deck um yeah this deck's really sweet so if, if you want to make it better for just playing the deck right now you know playing Vrasis contempts would be worth it like i would i would not play disfigure or cruelty or maybe the third end to the god eternals and i'd play Vrasis contempts over those um and you know maybe another Vrasis contempt in the sideboard maybe but yeah contempt would, would definitely help and obviously uh playing drowned catacomb instead of those would help as well Maybe Contempt instead of like this Aether Gust that is kind of crappy. <clears throat> but there we go. So that's Demir Control. I went with this instead of Grixis because I thought the mana with Grixis was going to be kind of tough. And I thought that Demir had enough good cards in it. Um, but I was kind of planning originally on making a, a Grixis Control uh, rotation proof deck because a lot of people have been asking for that. But it kind of looked like Demir was probably better. Maybe next week I'll still make a Grixis one, though. But I uh, went with the Demir control to start with. All right. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. It's a pretty sweet one here. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching Demir control. And I will see you for the next video.